In this video I'm going to show you how to use Evernote. Now before I show you how to use it, let's start by talking about what this could be used for and why it might be useful to you. Evernote is a very clever note-taking app. What you can do with Evernote is you can take notes in your lessons or you can save research that you've been doing online. So let's say that you are carrying out a project where you've got to research a topic in one of your lessons. When you find that information online, sometimes if you try to save all of your web addresses and go back to that information later, you can end up with a lot of bookmarks or forget what it is that you found. Well, an elephant never forgets, so you can use Evernote to help you find those resources that you found later. Now, how do we install it? Well, currently, I am on the School Frog mobile site, and I'm on the Applications page. Scroll down that page, you will see Evernote, and you can install it from there. When you've installed it, the app looks like that, with the little green icon and the elephant. First time you use it, you'll have to create an account. Now that's very simple, open it up, it will ask you to create an account. You then just need to put in your email address, and then a name and a password. That's all you need to do. Once you've set that up, you can open up Evernote and you will see something that looks like this. Now I'm only going to give you a brief overview of this bit and then I'm going to go into the part that I think will be most useful to you. To create a new note, you click on Add Note and all you have to do is give your note a title, write some text and you can then take a photograph or add a sound in whatever you want to do for that note and that is a note maybe of something that you've been doing in the lesson now once you've created a note you can add something called a tag so let me just make a very quick one so this is the note content this is where I'm writing what's happened in my English lesson today and then whatever it is that you're going to write, you decide obviously what the content of the note is. Now now that that note is finished, if I click done, that will save it. If I want to be able to find it later, I need to give it what's called a tag. So I hit this little button here, which is the tag button, and I can add a tag to it. Now to add a tag, I just write um, a word in there, and it will be tagged with that word. So. Um, I've already created two tags, English and Writing. If I want to tag it with the English tag, hit English and that adds that tag in. If I want to give it a new tag, I would actually just type the name of that tag there, it would put it in, and the next time I come to tag a different note, that would appear in this list underneath. So I'm going to hit Done now. Now I can find all of those notes later, by either hitting all notes, which shows me all of the notes that I have created, but that's not very useful because I've got to scroll through them all. So the best way to do it is to hit the search button and then I can search for something like English, which was my tag, and it will find all of the notes which I've tagged with English. And you can see there are three notes there that I've tagged with English. There are lots of other ways you can search on here as well, but I'm not going to go into them all in this video. Now, two more things I want to show you. One is the widget. On your home screen, you can have an Evernote widget. Now, I recommend this. I use Evernote all the time. This makes it very, very simple to use. All I did there was I held my finger on the screen, and it allows me to add new things to my screen. If I go to Widgets... There is an Evernote widget. There it is. I'm going to choose a small one. And that adds that Evernote bar to my screen. Hitting the elephant will take me into Evernote. Hitting the plus sign will add a new note like you saw me create before. If I just want to upload a photo or a sound, then I would hit those ones and I can take a photo of, say, a piece of work to be a note. 
and then tag it or I could record um, a voice or something like that and tag that so I can come back to that later. Now that was the first thing I want to show you. That's just a quick bar that allows you to search Evernote or create new notes very very easily. The final thing which I think will be the most useful to you is if I go back into the browser let's just say that I was searching for some information on elephants. I found a range of websites, some are useful, some aren't. I decide that I like the look of this one and that this is going to help me in my project and I want to save it for later so I can come back to it. Well what I can do is I can hit the menu button here, that little button on your tablet screen, and if I go to more it lets me share this page. I can now hit Evernote and it will save that website to the note. And I can add notes with that if I want to. So I might want to say something like useful page for whatever. Just to remind me later what I've done. I can then tag it the same way as I did earlier. So if this is a humanities project, tag it with humanities. I might also tag it with the word elephant. But I'll not do that in this video. Now what that would mean is later when I come to search for what I've, the research I've been doing in humanities, I just type in um, humanities into my search and it will find all of the different websites that I've saved while I've been researching in that project. So it should speed things up and help you keep track of things a lot more easily. And that is Evernote.